Air Turnback, A Change of Plans, written by Captain Joe. Have you ever been on a flight that had to turn back? It's a unique experience that can be both surprising and unsettling. It's not very common, but it does happen. When it does, it can catch passengers off guard. This is called an air turnback. It's a term that might not be familiar to many travelers. An air turnback is when an aircraft has to return to the departure airport or land at a different airport before it reaches its planned destination. This decision is never taken lightly. There are many reasons why an air turnback might be necessary. Each situation is unique and requires careful consideration. It could be due to a technical issue with the aircraft, a medical emergency, or even bad weather. Each of these scenarios presents its own set of challenges. Whatever the reason, the safety of the passengers and crew is always the top priority. This guiding principle ensures that every decision made is in the best interest of everyone on board. When an air turnback occurs, the pilots will assess the situation and make a decision about the best course of action. This involves a thorough evaluation of all available information. They will consider factors such as the severity of the issue, the weather conditions and the overall safety of the flight, and the availability of suitable landing sites. The goal is to find the safest and most efficient solution. The pilots will also keep the passengers informed throughout the process. Clear communication helps to manage expectations and reduce anxiety. Air turnbacks can be inconvenient, but they are a necessary precaution to ensure the safety of everyone on board. In the end, it's all about making sure that everyone reaches their destination safely, even if it means a change of plans. Engine trouble, a pilot's worst nightmare. One of the most common reasons for an air turnback is engine trouble. A modern airliner has at least two engines for safety. If one engine fails, the plane can still fly on the remaining engine. However, this situation requires the pilots to act quickly and decisively. Imagine this. You're a pilot cruising at 30,000 feet, and suddenly you hear a loud bang. One of your engines has failed. What do you do? First, you need to control the aircraft. Losing an engine creates drag and swings the plane's nose. The pilots must correct this with the rudder and ailerons. Next, they will run through their emergency checklists. This helps them troubleshoot the issue and decide whether a turnback is necessary. If the issue is serious, they will declare an emergency with air traffic control and request to turn back. Takeoff troubles when going up isn't an option. Sometimes problems arise even before an aircraft reaches cruising altitude. During takeoff, an aircraft is at its heaviest and requires maximum power. Any malfunction during this critical phase can lead to an immediate air turnback. Imagine a scenario where a bird strike occurs during takeoff. The impact could damage an engine or other critical parts of the aircraft. In such cases, the pilots might have to abort the takeoff, even if the plane is already in the air. This maneuver is called a rejected takeoff. Another possibility is an indication of a system malfunction after takeoff. It could be anything from hydraulic problems to issues with the landing gear. If the malfunction is severe enough, the safest option is to return to the departure airport. Turning back, mid-flight, climb, cruise and approach. Air turnbacks can happen during any phase of flight, climb, cruise or approach. Each phase has its own set of complexities and demands on the aircraft and crew. Each phase presents unique challenges for the pilots. They must be prepared to handle a variety of situations that could arise unexpectedly. During the climb phase, the aircraft is still gaining altitude and burning fuel. This is a critical time as the plane is heavy with fuel and needs to reach a safe cruising altitude. An air turnback at this stage means the aircraft might be too heavy to land immediately. The pilots must carefully manage the situation to ensure safety. The pilots will need to circle or fly in a holding pattern to burn off fuel and reduce weight. This maneuver requires precise control and coordination. The cruise phase is typically the smoothest part of the flight. However, it is also the longest phase and pilots must remain vigilant. However, even at cruising altitude, unexpected events like medical emergencies or rapid weather changes can necessitate a turn back. Pilots must be ready to respond quickly to any situation. Finally, during the approach phase, the aircraft is already descending and preparing to land. This phase requires careful attention to speed, altitude and alignment with the runway. 
A turn back at this stage could be due to sudden strong winds, poor visibility, or a problem on the runway at the destination airport. Pilots must make quick decisions to ensure a safe landing. The pilots might have to go around and attempt another landing or divert to a different airport. Their training and experience are crucial in managing these situations effectively. The challenges of turning back weighty decisions. Pilots face numerous challenges during an air turnback. One of the biggest challenges is dealing with the aircraft's weight. Landing an aircraft that's still carrying a significant amount of fuel can be dangerous. Imagine trying to land a plane that's designed to touch down at a certain weight, but it's currently much heavier due to the fuel on board. The landing gear and the aircraft structure itself could be damaged. To avoid this, pilots may have to dump fuel to reduce the aircraft's weight before landing. Fuel dumping is a controlled procedure with specific rules and regulations to minimize environmental impact. Another significant challenge is decision-making under pressure. During an emergency, pilots have to process information quickly, communicate effectively with air traffic control, and make critical decisions that directly impact the safety of everyone on board. Turning back in action real-life examples. There have been numerous air turnback incidents throughout aviation history, each with its own unique set of challenges and outcomes. Let's look at a few examples that stand out for their dramatic nature and the lessons they offer. US Airways Flight 1549 in 2009. This Airbus A320 experienced a bird strike shortly after taking off from New York City's LaGuardia Airport, causing immediate engine failure. Both engines failed, forcing the pilots to make an emergency landing in the Hudson River, a feat that required immense skill and composure. This incident, known as the Miracle on the Hudson, highlights the importance of pilot training and skilled decision-making under pressure. Qantas Flight 32 in 2010. This Airbus A380 suffered an uncontained engine failure shortly after taking off from Singapore, leading to a critical situation. Debris from the engine damaged the fuel system and other critical components, making the situation even more dire. The pilots managed to safely land the aircraft back in Singapore, demonstrating exceptional airmanship and crew resource management which were crucial in averting disaster. Air Transat Flight 236 in 2001. This Airbus A330 ran out of fuel over the Atlantic Ocean due to a fuel leak, putting the lives of everyone on board at risk. The pilots glided the aircraft for almost 20 minutes before making a successful emergency landing at a military airbase in the Azores, showcasing their incredible skill and calm under pressure. This incident highlights the importance of fuel management and the ability to make critical decisions under extreme pressure, ensuring the safety of all on board. Staying safe in the skies, procedures and training. Air turnbacks are a testament to the fact that even with the best technology, unexpected situations can arise in aviation. Pilots undergo rigorous training to handle such situations effectively. They practice emergency procedures in flight simulators, learning how to react quickly and calmly under pressure. They also receive extensive training on aircraft systems, meteorology and decision making. Furthermore, airlines and aviation authorities have strict safety regulations and procedures in place to minimize the risk of air turnbacks. These procedures cover everything from aircraft maintenance to crew training and emergency response protocols. By understanding the reasons behind air turnbacks, the challenges pilots face and the importance of proper procedures and training, we can appreciate the complexities of keeping air travel safe. So the next time your flight turns back, remember that it's not just a minor inconvenience, it's a testament to the dedication of aviation professionals who prioritize your safety above all else.